My name is Thane Walton. A few years ago, I was at a hotel in Nashville and saw some interesting art uh, on plywood with some cutouts and got inspired to do a Gilbert Temple. And I decided to make mine multiple layers. So my first drawing was a little skinny, then I fattened it up a little bit, started cutting out a nice piece of plywood four feet by five feet, got the various pine wood pieces cut out, some old pallet wood for some plants, and then started experimenting with paints and sanding. So this was just, that was just an experimental piece, colored the uh, trees and bushes and stuff. And the background, for the background, I did various paints and then covered it up with white stain and then sanded it to bring in the right amount of color that I liked. And there's all the pieces built in. Then the back behind is all pallet wood that uh, I'd add a little bit of dark stain to bring a little bit more color and coloring out. Used an old license plate for the Moroni. Got it all put together and built up, sanded, uh, stained the, the back. Here I'm in a time-lapse video putting together, oh, it's about 15 pieces that I cut out. And the back here using the old pallet wood and finishing it up. Here we are in the home and a video to go with it. June 20th, 2017. Got the Gilbert Temple art completed. A little piece of license plate for the Moroni and a little hidden license plate. When it gets behind it with the sun, you get a good reflection. Um, name is carved in, Thane 2017. So my wife calls it Thane Dimensional. So we've got uh, on the side here, a couple different layers. Uh, I took the plywood, I cut out, so here it's, here it's in cut with some uh, pallet, pallet boards behind there. And then deeper behind is uh, the windows and, and uh, you can see a slight bit of blue and green through the, through the windows. And the front entry down here, this luster room. Moroni, an old piece of yellow Arizona license plate from 1969. little piece of uh, actual temple that we got when we uh, went to, uh, on, and toured. So we've got about three or four layers here of uh, on, on the side here. One by ten pine wood that I painted white and tossed in some sand and stuff to give it a little bit of uh, texture. And what else? I think that's about it. So, lots of hours into it. Probably, mm, we might be pushing 250 hours on it. So, four feet wide, five feet tall. And we've got this plate in our front room, front entry. You can come in the house. Go along with uh, a couple other things I built. My clock up high, five foot clock, just decorative, uh, not functional, but uh, yeah, so exciting, fun day, glad that it uh, finally came together. thing here and I'm working on my art so I wanted to document sort of the process of the painting that I'm going through uh, staining painting uh, whatever you want to talk about however you want to mention so here's a piece of art this is actually the backside I've been experimenting on the wood um, it's going to be the Gilbert LDS temple and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the sky so I was trying to do various colors, all sorts of stuff, and uh, many different shades. On this side, I did a whole bunch of white. Uh, well, actually, excuse me. I did colors first, something like that. And then I did a white stain on top of it. And then I sanded it down so the colors should, could start coming through. And uh, so I think I'm, that's kind of the direction I think I'm headed. I practiced a little bit on some wood here. Uh, this side on the left, I did the uh, white first. And then I did a, a darker stain on top, 
this side I did the dark first and I did then the white on top and then I sanded them down. Um, I like the look, but I don't like, uh, I, I don't like that, you know, with the grain it's going up and down for my sky, you know, so I, I decided to try sort of a hodgepodge. So this, this is kind of my experiment with more of a hodgepodge. Uh, if you notice my brush strokes were not uh, even up and down, they were going back and forth and all over the place. And I think that's kind of the look I'm going to go for. Sort of a dark underneath and then a white stain on top. And the, the stains I'm using, just sort of simple stuff. I, uh, all this was from Home Depot. This, was a, this, this is actually a paint, a gray. It was the, uh, the Phoenix Suns gray in their logo for my son's room. Um, we did a Phoenix Sun stuff. So we got gray and orange and purple and whatever, or whatever else they had. So these two are actually a Minwax stain and uh, they're the stains that can get colored. So you start with a, a, white, a, a white tint base and then you, you have them add your color. This is supposed to be, uh, what color was it supposed to be? Blue, uh, gray, this was their gray color, but it really turns out kind of bluish. And then this is just the plain white wiping stain that I, that I left white. So, uh, and I mix all three together to kind of find the right color I want. And uh, so here's, here's a section I'm kind of giving a test with. This I, this I just kind of did various brush strokes and various shades of, of a mix of those, those colors over there. And now I'm going to take a white on top of it and then sand it off. So we'll see how, we'll see if I like that side, that style better. Or on the other side here, I sanded it down and that's just a plain, kind of a blend of all three colors. A little white in there to make it light, a little bit of the grayish, uh, bluish and then some of that dark gray to uh, give a little bit of more gray color to it. We didn't want a real blue sky. So same thing here, I, I, put, this, I put that base down. Next I'm gonna paint it white over it and then I'm gonna sand it off uh, so eventually we'll, you know, it'll be something like, you know, like here with some various brush strokes. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot here, see how this turns out and I'll keep you updated on the progress. We'll put this all together at the end and, and have a nice video of the uh, this temple art I'm working on. Thanks.